Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Um, you guys, so we're going to take a look at the week ahead, which is going to be June 10th through the 16th. Um, so yeah, I was already shuffling and I forgot to hit, um, I, I put the card, I started the video and I forgot to hit the um, record. So I was recording without recording. <laughs> So anyway, we're already starting off with some calls. So you're starting off this week with a love call, okay? Someone expresses love to you, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Very sweet message coming in for you this week. Um, there you go. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, masculine or feminine energy, water energy here. Uh, there's a proposal, a love offer. Um, somebody reaching out and being very affectionate, being very romantic towards you. Um, could be um, a water sign, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it could just be their energy. Not, I will tell you what I feel like is just not something that this person um, is normally, I feel like they don't, they're not normally like that. You see how the lid is on the chalice there? They generally keep their emotions within. But the expression of love that comes through um, is fleeting. It's very sweet. It's fleeting. Um, it could be a little more that it leads to something, but I do feel like you're going to hear from this person or from someone this week very close to you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. You have a love week starting. So you've got the Ten of Cups. Wow. I feel like someone here is really passionate or emotionally so much passion it's all water they just feel very emotional towards you this week um now for some of you yeah could this be a romantic partnership of course with the knight of cups or a romantic gesture yes but it could also be coming from a family member or or someone that you're close to just letting you know that they're thinking of you and and you know um expressing their love kindness could even be not just a phone call it could be a, a text message it could be an email I don't know who does that it could have a voicemail somewhere it's definitely going to be you hearing from this person all right let's get into the rest of this reading see what else is going on here okay so you do have okay uh, no it's not deceitful so don't worry I know some of you Tower gurus are going to look at this seven of swords and just be like, oh, it's all bullshit. No, I don't feel like it is. I feel like this person gets an opportunity to sneak away this week to be able to, I want to say sneak away in the sense of like, it's kind of behind the scenes. And that really makes me feel like with the Queen of Cups, like they're not normally a person that expresses their sentiment or their feelings. So, it's 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 not deceptive it might feel to you virgo like that it's not real because they don't normally do that but i don't feel that way at all not the way this is beginning um let me see here show virgo what is this person's like intentions to express themselves here oh wow okay you get the world so Virgo, I feel like this person, they're ready to start something new here. So you might actually know them or you might not. It could be a new love situation here where maybe you just started dating them and they begin expressing how they feel about you. Um, I feel like this person, they're struggling, definitely. Uh, so they're telling me, They're telling me like there's this, this person's a, a bit codependent, I feel, but not like in a manipulative way. It's just that this person is trying, like they're, they're getting away from being in some kind of situation in their life where they're having a really hard time on their own. You know what I mean? Or if they're with someone else or they've been with another person that it was just like a constant uphill battle like you know 
not being able to have a relationship go anywhere. There was no joy, no happiness in, a, in, in their life, okay? And I feel like they're walking away from that and coming towards you because they see you're like home for them. That's why I'm picking up with the Ten of Cups. It's like this home energy in this person, okay? Um, wow. So there is this message I'm picking up here that they have a very heavy influence by a f another female in their life who is always demanding for them to change their life. And it was just like, it, f it feels like it's just a struggle for them, but it feels like this person Whoever this person is to you is going, will be willing to ch make a lifestyle change for you because they view you as the empress, okay? Which is just someone who, in an energetic way, is abundant, loving, nurturing, caring, um, very aesthetically um, nice, attractive, that kind of energy. That's how they view you. And <laughs> there's the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so... Uh, Virgo, I just kind of feel like this person, <sighs> either you knew them before and they're reaching out to you because things are not going well where they are, whether that's with another person or just in their life in general, there's a lack of happiness, a lot of struggle, tremendous dependence, financial difficulty. Um, I feel like this person, they, they're, they might have regret, Virgo. If you knew them before and something didn't work out, there may be, they're coming in with a little bit of regret. They want to heal something here with you. Yes. Bring some change to a relationship here. Come into harmony and balance with you. So I feel like this person, this is like a divine type of connection. Do you know what I mean? Like you bring peace to them or they feel peaceful with you. They feel like it, you know the four of swords i feel like the, like three swords before that they might they've had a heartbreak and you know even if you don't know this person and they're coming in brand new there's something about you that when you meet them they'll be very expressive towards you either way whether it's someone new or someone old they'll be very expressive towards you as far as like their feelings um, a, a bit romantic now it, for those of you that this is just not a romantic connection but like a friendship or another platonic type of a relationship I feel like this person there is this en energy of um, and even if it was romantic there might have there might have been something that happened in the past where there was some kind of sneaky energy to some degree but I do feel like this week there is like some kind of like an apology for making you struggle or causing this struggle, um, uh, apology for something ha that happened in a family situation or between friends. You're, you're definitely gonna hear um, to start off that this person has been thinking about you a lot or that they are thinking about you. You're gonna hear about this, so expressing their feelings, wanting to start a new chapter with in this relationship whatever kind of relationship it is with you so you know if something happened like last week or at any time in the past if you knew this person where there was just this not good situation that happened i feel like they're coming in with this you know wow i really have some regrets i really messed up i really miss you i want to see you i want to talk to you um, I want to express how I feel, and then they do that. It's just definitely um, a very sweet, affectionate energy coming in. I want to heal something here. Okay. So there is chemistry and a spiritual lesson. All right. The attraction you feel with this person shows up to be very mutual. This person has been in your life or will be in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So definitely some high-vibing energy in regards to uh, spiritual is very healing energy so i do feel like something like that is playing out here so there are some financial challenges as well in connection to this relationship okay in what way i'm not really sure but there are some financial challenges 
which is why the five of pentacles was there because there is a financial struggle or challenge okay and there's the apology coming in so virgo yeah there's definitely going to be some kind of kiss and makeup or just a makeup situation happening this week okay you also have integrity does the situation align with your values and morals self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting lean on your inner circle during this time virgo it is safe to trust in this situation patience everything will unfold in divine timing someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation and an awakening unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement so yeah some stuff from maybe childhood or some type of issues in the past have i'm hearing stunted or stalled a relationship to grow or to progress and you have protected you're safe and divinely guided and for some this connection is passionate but not enduring it might just be strictly sexual so for those of you um who think that don't worry about it you're protected you will like you like there isn't anything that's going to harm you in regards like if you are concerned um but I will say passion is not generally enduring for the long term, but that does not mean that a relationship, like a relationship, there, there, there's, I want to say there's like spurts of sexual um, comings together at times, but it's not like 24 seven, right? That's like the passion that would just, unless you're dealing with unless there's like a sexual addiction of some sort then there's something's off balance there but i feel like strictly sexual i feel i don't know how to explain this what they're telling me it's like it's okay they're saying to have a strictly sexual relationship with this person in the confines of a strictly sexual passionate connection but I feel like the boost here is that what they're saying is if you're concerned that it's so strictly sexual does not mean only sexual. I don't feel like this relationship is only sexual. I feel like there's more to it or at least will be more to it. I don't feel like it's just going to be nothing else because of all the other energies playing out here. There's someone has regret and remorse. And in order to have that, there needs to be some type of empathy. So there is emotion here. It's just not always shown, I feel like, from this person, which might cause you a, a bit of like, wow, uh, that's going to be so, somewhat of the surprise. I feel like the, even the love call aspect is going to be somewhat of a surprise for you. Okay, so I, I guess what I'm trying to relay to you is that I don't feel like you're in a situation here that this person coming in is only interested in sex the sexual part is strictly sex yes so i guess i feel like saying don't turn some people use sex to be able to express their emotions right especially people who have a hard time communicating their emotions and generally that can fall along the lines of the masculine energy it doesn't mean that someone does not care, okay? All right, so for you, Virgo, you've got the Hermit. Oh, you've got the Ten of Swords. The Page of Wands. So you might be wondering if something is dead in the water or done, or if you should reach out to someone, maybe start up some communication this week with somebody. And the high priestess so i feel like there's something or either start up communication initiate communication with someone or respond okay so with the high priestess i kind of and, and the hermit like they're to me one and the same i feel like there's a lot of 
thinking about things um, because there may have been a betrayal it might be a little hard for you to start a conversation or start up or respond to a love call that comes in um, you might feel a bit excited but then be a bit torn I don't feel like you want to show any kind of excitement because maybe you feel betrayed or hurt but you do have the lovers so I do feel like there this might be somebody that you either fall in love with or do love but because of that ten of swords yeah you're kind of keeping it to yourself you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve this week in regards to this person reaching out to you or talking to you yeah a lot of anxiety and stress not being sure what to do which path to take which way to go um hmm you might be just more so wanting to focus on well they're also saying is there a possibility that you could leave a legacy with this person or not does this relationship you might be asking yourself if like if this connection with this person whether it's platonic or romantic you might be asking yourself does this relationship have the courage to withstand you know the ten of pentacles to me is always like a brick house you know um like little pig little pig let me in you know they all go into the brick house because the big bad wolf cannot destroy the brick house right you might be wondering like if this relationship with this person has the wherewithal to be a brick house type of relationship you know what i mean and i feel like if there's enough if, if if the house is strong enough to withstand something happens with this person um if you knew them before and it's kind of like you know the ten of pentacles is always about money it's always about inheritance it's always about trust some trust might have been broken And I do feel like this person does really have a sense of regret and remorse. They really do love you. Um, what is Virgo going to do about this? Because you're kind of like, well, it looks like here what I see. You're kind of like, well, yeah, I do love this person. But there was some betrayal or backstabbing or this person's been hurt before. They're going to hurt me because they haven't healed their wounds but I feel like this person has or is working on that and is trying to rebuild some trust here okay there we go so I feel like take it easy that's your message here keep your boundaries up of course you know you don't want to just throw your if somebody if there was a trust broken you know you like it just wouldn't be common sense to just throw your entire heart back into something um i think you need to be righteous though not self-righteous but i think you need to be like true to yourself and and do what's right by you and um not be afraid or not have any fear that you're going to destroy something by being honest being truthful being righteous in regards to you know how a relationship should go or how you want something to go here okay um the truth always prevails the truth destroys lies and and bs and deception and things like that okay it does the truth always prevails so your truth virgo looks to be like the very thing you need to maybe in some way um destroy the ego there's no room for pride and ego in a romantic or any kind of um emotional relationship pride and ego will destroy a relationship because there's a lack of vulnerability and it takes vulnerability for two people to be in a relationship and to create a bond okay and it looks to me like virgo it's not going to be a hard at first i was thinking fear but i don't know 
it's I don't think maybe that's the case. I, I don't because I don't often feel like Virgos have a problem with being truthful and being honest and putting boundaries up. I think that if you are one of those people that is uh, one of those Virgos that has a hard time with your delivery, um, then that might be something I feel like I'm picking up here. So there's a very kind way to give constructive criticism. For example, um, you know, there's people who give criticism and they think they're being constructive, but they're giving negative criticism. So they'll say something like, like say you painted something. Um, someone who gives positive constructive criticism, which is what constructive criticism is, will say, I love those colors that you used. And, but I know, and I know that your favorite color, for example, is blue. And I really feel like blue matches your personality. And if you, if you were to add more blue, I feel like that that would bring out so much um, calming and, and so much, it would really catch people's eyes. You know, like that's constructive criticism. A negative, like other type is, I don't know why you use those colors. I think you can use better colors because those colors are shitty. That's, there's a difference and people don't understand that, right? People just, they just want to give, they just want to criticize and then they try to mask it with, oh no, I'm just trying to help. No, you're being an asshole. You're an asshole. So get the F away from me with that kind of criticism. No, you know? And so I feel like for you, Virgo, I know I'm going around the bush here, but I feel like for you to tell somebody here who's, who did something wrong or betrayed you trust, um, perhaps the best way to deliver that is within your truth and your honesty and be authentic with this person. Say, you know, I think you I've always thought you were a really great person. You made some shitty choices. You, those, those were not some great choices. And I know that you can do so much better. You know, um, I, I don't know why you decided to do A, B, or C, um, but it did have an effect on me. And uh, it's not that I don't love you. Of course I do. But I don't want to open myself up to that uh, situation again. Um, and because I feel like maybe you were acting out of some trauma or some issues that you had. And, you know, I'm always here to help and, you know, whatever you need. But I really think that you can do so much better because I know who you are and I know that you're a wonderful person, right? Now I know that takes a lot. <laughs> Um, I know that takes a lot and uh, but I think I don't think it's helpful unless you just absolutely don't want anything to do with this person I mean, you're just gonna pop off go ahead but I know that if you want this person and you want to make things work whether it's platonic or romantic um, I don't think you're gonna get anywhere by saying you're a complete piece of s and you're going to pay for what you did. And if you want to be with me, then this is, you're, this is what you're going to have to do. Like, relationships are so important. Diplomacy is so important, even for Virgos, right? So I don't know. I kind of feel like I just went off. A little, I must have like an intellectual spirit sitting next to me here or, or intellectual psych, psychologist spirit so in its past. But sorry for that. <laughs> you know I'm on the spectrum, right, you guys? Did you know that? Yeah. So sometimes I feel like I got to over explain myself. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, so yeah, there's the six of cups and the eight of wands. So a very good positive connection, a very beautiful kiss and makeup scenario can happen here with someone, you know, um, now let me just give you a caveat. For those of you where this is somebody new coming in or you've been dating very short time and then they reach out to you and, uh, you know, tell you about how they were um, deceptive or cheating or they were, certain things happened to them and then they reacted in the same way and stuff like that. Um, this scenario can also be in the sense where you are saying to this person, well, I appreciate your being honest with me that you cheated on your ex or things like that or whether you did it first or second whatever um, giving that positive reinforcement of how they can be better um, before you really open yourself up to this person um, is is promising I feel like it's really important to have really good communication here because I feel like as I always say honest authentic true loving caring 
sincere communication can bring about closeness and bonding. Not criticism, not being harsh, but just being open and sincere. Okay, interesting. I wouldn't even know what to call this reading. I don't even know. But we're going to get into, I want to see what the Chinese sign is of this person. And I think I'm going to use the other. There's too much white's turning everything blue here. Okay, or too much blue. Let's see what the Chinese sign of you and this person. Okay, so starting with year of the horse. Year of the ox, year of the snake, year of the monkey, year of the goat, year of the dragon, year of the rabbit, and the year of the rat. Okay, so that could be you, that could be this person. Um, or it might not resonate, so, you know, don't force it to fit. Okay, let's see. All right, we're gonna do our charms here. So, well, that's interesting. That wasn't supposed to be in there. So we have Scorpio, Gemini, Leo, turn to Gemini, Gemini, turn to Aries, because I can't pick these up. Okay, we have the number 86, we have 31, 58, 87, 75, 66, Let's see, September 5th, um, we have 22, August 29th, September 13th, September 8th, 48, switch to 38, 55, we have 70. Okay, so those could either be your birth date, your age, or the year that you were born. Also 44, I didn't see that there. Okay. QI, isn't that key? Key. All right, we have the month of May, very significant. Last month was very significant for someone. December, very significant time. Okay, so we have a CD, CD, <laughs> reminds me of the old CDs. Okay, uh, initial CD, we have a initial ON, um, we have AI, we have AX, X, we have P and L, oh we also have 33, and we have a Q and a V. Okay. Oh, and September 11th is here. My sister was born on September 11th. And, um, yeah, September 11th, for all you September 11th birthdays, I gotta say, what a day to have a birthday. What a day. And I almost feel like I want to just give you a great big, gigantic hug because of everything that happened on that day and it being your birthday you know kind of overshadow your special day I don't know how you guys really feel about that but I always thought to myself you know when tragedy happens on certain days and it happens to be somebody's birthday it's that's that's tough that's tough I always wonder do you want to change do you ever feel like you want to change your birthday or do you ever feel like what even even actually if you leave me a comment under this video if you what you were doing for your birthday that day or like what your plans were and how everything affected you for the September 11th Virgos how life affected you on that day and every day since definitely leave me a comment because I've always wondered about that um all right so let's oh now we have VV VV <laughs> initials VV okay I'm picking up the name Aaron and Ian I'm picking up Donald or Donnie or Donna Paul I'm hearing Paul I'm hearing Aaron E-R-I-N Aaron um, Decker 
Um, oh, I just saw Vax. Okay, yeah, so something with vaccines starting to happen again, I suppose. Uh, Nayla, Nayla, or Naya, or Nala. Uh, somebody's wearing plaid, like a plaid shirt, or <laughs> maybe some plaid pants. Pretty cool. Could be pajama pants or something plaid. Uh, Dax, D A X, Dax. I'm hearing Dev, Devon, 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 Diva. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting up a lot of names. Ed, Eddie, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Edward. All right, I think I think we're gonna leave that there. And let's get some charms. Let's see what's showing up here for you. Okay, you know I saw a stork fly by the other day. I was sitting outside on the patio with my brother and this bird flew over, it was gigantic, and I said to him, I was like, what the hell was that? And he says, I think that was a stork. I've never seen a stork, like not in real life. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look that up if there was a sign of some sort. This is not a stork though. This is a flamingo, okay? So definitely um, something to do with a flamingo, also an electric guitar, and it's so funny because last night, I was watching like every video I could find, short, video, reel, everything, pictures, anything. I was watching all Eddie Van Halen stuff and just reading about his life and how much of an amazing guitar player. I don't know if anybody here is a Van Halen fan or was back in the day. Like my favorite Van Halen stuff is like, you know, the early with David Lee Roth. I wasn't so much of a fan of Sammy Hager, but... I loved all this, the, the late 70s, 80s Van Halen, like Van Halen 1, their first album, and Fair Warning. I thought those were great. And I was watching all that stuff last night. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a connection to Edward Van Halen <laughs> right now, or if you are a guitar player, or you have, uh, you play that, maybe Van Halen tunes or something. Um, but there's definitely an energy, that, you know, electric guitar is pretty much rock and roll. Or what have you. What else can you play on electric guitar? Maybe you're into metal or anything to do with electric guitar. Very significant. Oh, and you also have um, a skull, a painted skull. Okay. Los Muertes. Right? Is that, am I saying that right? Something to do with the Day of the Dead. A skull. Look, you even have music chime, uh, music charm here. So, music and uh, and electric guitar guitar are very significant this week for someone so I don't know if you're gonna be playing some music or what's going on but it's very significant this week and what else do you have here might be some 70s music or some 60s or 70s music uh, connected to that also some kind of a snowflake that's an interesting snowflake is that even a snowflake what the hell is that it looks like it's got little yellow designs on it or some kind of star catcher. Maybe you see like a dream catcher or a star catcher that looks like that or just you get one this week or you bought one. Significant star catcher. You also have um, like a Navajo cross. I think it's Navajo. Some kind of design like that. Can you see it? Hold on. You see it? That's some kind of a Navajo cross of some sort. Feels like it's beads and leather. Something maybe you would get out in the in the West. Oops, now it's gone. Okay, and speaking of which, also a horse. I'm, I'm feeling like a horse ranch. Or something to do with the West. There's a ranch or some kind of a horse. So maybe you're going to a ranch or you have a ranch or you're riding horses this week. Could be that song, Wild Horses, is significant from the Stones this week. Or maybe you hear it. If you do, it's connected to this reading in some way. Okay. So I'm um, going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love you. Bye. My heart.